Hey, have you noticed how you can see through walls in video games? This is because of something called normals. These are just directions of a surface telling the rendering engine what way it is facing. Usually they will only be visible from the way they face to help with performance. Which explains why you can see through most things in video games if you clip inside of them. It's called backface culling. This also tells the lighting how to react to the surface, which you can change by using something called a normal map. So if you've ever seen small bumps on something in a game, it's most likely that. As for the reason you can see through characters and other assets, it's because the developers don't want to use precious performance rendering the inside of a box that you'll never see. Take this gun I modeled for an example. Real guns aren't hollow, but the player will never see inside there, so why bother making it? This would also cost studios a lot of money. And have you ever clipped inside a player model only to be traumatized? Yeah, it's not nice. This happens if a character needs to be animated, so parts of their mouth and their full eyeball will have to be in there, just in case they have to speak or make any facial expressions. But notice how there's nothing else in there. Not even a brain. This actually isn't a statement that the game developers are trying to make about their players, but rather, another cut in performance. Normals can work in other ways too, as I'm sure you've noticed. Most rooms in video games are a box, but with the normals facing towards you, meaning that if you go outside the box, you'll not be able to see the faces in the direction that you're looking from. Because as I'm sure you've also noticed, most walls in video games are infinitely thin. There's absolutely no width, because this would use more processing power to render, and for what? You'll never see the other side of the wall. In some rare cases, developers will choose to render both sides of their objects, but this is effectively doubling the amount you need to render, which is why it's not used as commonly. Anyways, I could go on all day about normals, but you know what's even cooler? Hitting the subscribe button and maybe even leaving a comment. And thank you for watching. Please subscribe.